Right now, Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin remains in critical condition after collapsing on the field tonight. ESPN reporter Lisa Salters was at the stadium and described the aftermath firsthand. The entire Bills bench emptied and was out on the field. And the way that the players, all of the players, the Bills and the Bengals, the way they formed a human wall around DeMar Hamlin, that, that let me know there that this was not... Uh, just another injury that there, there was there were things going on mm -hmm. uh, behind that human wall that we shouldn't be seeing they were trying to respect that young man's privacy and rightfully so uh, so that was when I realized uh, immediately that this was not just another injury that this was something very very serious his teammates now headed back to Buffalo despite many wanting to remain in Cincinnati with him, I want to bring, bring back into the conversation former NFL player Randall Hill. He played for the Miami Dolphins, the Arizona Cardinals, and the New Orleans Saints. Um, you were with us the last hour talking about what these young men go through. There's another player besides DeMar Hamlin I'm thinking of now, and it's T. Higgins, uh, uh, the Bengals player who collided with DeMar earlier tonight. He was seen after the game with his mother, his mother's arm wrapped around him. What must this be like for that young man? Yeah, that's a very uh, a good question. And thanks for having me back. Uh, you, you know, it, when when you're involved in a situation like that, um, whether you were the one who are who was injured or the one who caused the injury, uh, I mean, you, you really reflect hard on yourself and, and you look back and you say, you know, was well, it something that I did? Um, is it something that, that I caused? Um, because at the end of the day, we're still family, you know, and, and I was thinking about it, you know, during, during the last break, you know, I have a few families. Uh, I have uh, my NFL family, I have my personal family, uh, and I have my uh, family as a federal agent. Uh, a lot of people know I'm a federal agent, um, but my NFL family is, is very, very special. Uh, and when someone is injured in this particular way, someone's child, uh, someone's father, someone's son, um, it really touches everyone and it, and, and it goes out. You know, I, I'm even part of a, of a chat group that we have at the University of Miami, uh, former players. And a lot of us, uh, you know, did play in the NFL. And, you know, when this came out, you know, there was immediate, uh, it's about 90 to 150 of us on one chat group. And when this went out, uh, you know, someone put it out and, you know, immediately everyone says, you know, we need to say a prayer for, for this young man and his family. And hopefully uh, he makes a speedy uh, recovery and hopefully he can uh, come back one day uh, with his head held high and uh, without injury and uh, live his life uh, without any uh, injury or without any uh, uh, drawbacks. The uh, on-field reporter was just sharing thoughts earlier, saying that those players, they created a human screen to, to give DeMar some privacy, to, to give him his dignity at this horrible moment. What is it like for players? Are they ever prepared to endure this kind of trauma? That's another uh, good question, uh, because, you know, a lot, some players, it's going to be hard for them to come back. Um, after seeing or witnessing or, or being a part of something like this. Um, it's, it's, it's very tough uh, mentally uh, to come back because football is, is a game of collisions. It's a game of, 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 uh, of, of collisions on a consistent basis. Uh, so some players, it's going to be hard to come back. You may even see a player or two say, hey, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. But so that's why I think it's important. And I'm sure uh, uh, Troy Vincent, who I know personally, I, I actually played with him, uh, also played against him. Um, we'll, you know, make sure that that counselors are, are there uh, for some of the players who are going to need counseling. Yeah, football players and NFL players are big and tough and, and you know, and they're superheroes to some people, but they're still only mortal men and, and they and they really do uh, uh, have their feelings and, and, and some of them may need counseling. 